Hi, I'm Stu. Welcome back to another Luma Fusion video tutorial. For this video, you're going to need roughly a four second clip. Then I'm going to go to the plus symbol and do an overlay title. It can be as long as the four second clip, or as I'm going to do, I'm going to move it in a few frames and just shorten it up. We're then going to go into the titles, activate your text here, and update the titles. And I'm just going to do a title when I say run London. There we go. I'm going to highlight the text and we'll change it to Anton because I'm currently using that text at the moment. Obviously, you can have whatever text you want. Tap done. I'm just going to increase the size a little bit and then come back out. And that's our first layer. Now, what we need to do now is duplicate the layers and create another three. So to do that, command D e on your keyboard or tap on the little duplicate icon down here on your timeline, go back into titles. And this first one, I'm going to set to red. I'm then going to go in frame and fit and set the blending mode to linear dodge. And that will cause the red to disappear. But I'll show you how to get it back in a second. Command D again, back into your titles and change the face color this time to green. And then Command D again and change the, the face color of the title to blue. And what that gives you is your red, green, and blue RGB splits. Next, I'm going to lock off the white layer and the original video just now, so they can't be edited. I'm then just going to move along. You can do it one or two frames. I'm going to start off with one and keyboard shortcut Command B or use the scissors and just make a few cuts, one or two frames apart. You can mix and match it. And once we've got that, zoom in so we can see what's going on in the timeline a bit more. Highlight the first clip, go to frame and fit, and then you can start off by just increasing the size for this a little bit. Go to the green clip, again back into frame and fit, and we're going to shrink this part down so you can see the green on the inside, and then up to the blue clip, back into frame and fit, and this time I'm going to move the Y position so the blue goes up the way a little bit. And all I'm going to do now is repeat what I've done already. Go into frame and fit and either just move each clip to the side or adjust the size. You can even stretch it out a little bit if you want to and then just work your way through the clips and make them as random as possible. Now we'll go down to the red one. So I'm going to go on with that just now and I'm going to do basically the first three segments. So single frames and then a two frame job. So we'll do the red, push it up the way a wee bit. There we go. Then onto the two frames. I think what I'll do this time with the blue is I will shrink it down. Green frame, stretch it out and alter the position slightly. And then the red frame, I think we'll shrink it down as well. A lot smaller. You'll now see as we do this, it starts to build up a glitch effect. Which is what we're wanting. And then what to do is just literally copy and then go to the next clip in the list. So this case blue and paste. And then just randomly select copy and I'll put this down onto the red clip paste and then the blue one up in the corner. Let's see what we've got. I'll go for there. Copy and I'll pop this down here to paste and test out the glitching. Working fine. And I'm just going to repeat this for all of them. So we'll copy that red clip, place that up on the blue and we'll copy this green place that down on the red and then for the red copy that and we'll put that onto the green if we look at the effect now start to build up and then one last one i'm going to take the red copy and paste it onto the blue i'm going to take the blue from the second row copy and paste it onto the red and then i'm still going to use the blue again and i'm going to paste that onto the green now you could continue and keep this on but that's actually probably enough glitching so what i'm going to do is highlight the cuts at the back end and just get rid of it and then what we want to do is switch on our white layer again and our main video clip and you'll see there's the glitch effect now what sells this is a sound effect. So if I go to my linked folders, I've got on my desktop just now four of the static glitch sounds that I've added to my Cinephonic Volume 1 sound effects pack that you can buy. I'm just going to bring it down onto the timeline, shrink the front end down a bit, just line it up at the start of the glitch. We'll just even bring it in a little frame, maybe zoom in a wee bit. Yeah, that'll do. And then just line it up with the back end and cut the rest of the sound away. We don't need it all. And then this should work nicely. There you go. Very rapid, random glitch effect. It works really well. Now there's a little bonus. If I highlight all of the text here, 
move it up. And by moving all the layers up, this allows me to go into my photos. So if we take the black layer and just take it right the way across the whole clip, there we go. And then I'm going to go into frame and fit, then blending mode, probably either soft light or overlay. Yeah, we'll go for soft light. It's a bit more contrasty. That works out well. It puts a little bit of depth the effect being there. And there you go. So all we'll do is we'll take this to probably two seconds. Trim off these two layers. Zoom back out. And here's your overall effect one more time. If you enjoyed the video tutorial today, don't forget to give it a like. Share it with your friends and family. And I will catch you on the next one. See you later.